the question of today, what are black holes? Well, that's a long story. The good thing is, I love long stories, so let's get right on. There are two main parts of a black hole that I'm going to talk about today. The event horizon and the singularity. Let's start with the singularity. Before I talk about this, I recommend that you go watch my What is Gravity video. There's some essential concepts in that video, and I think it will be much easier to understand this video if you watch the other one. Thank you. So let's start. The singularity is essentially the whole part of a black hole. It's a one-dimensional point in space where the gravity and density is infinite. And at some point, nothing, not even light, can escape it. Cool, right? But if light can't escape it, that means that we can't see it. It's just going to be a black sphere. That black sphere is the event horizon. The event horizon is essentially an illusion. Since there is an absence of light, we see a black sphere and we call it the event horizon. But there is no event horizon. A black hole is just the singularity taking all the light away from its surroundings and making the illusion of the event horizon. How do black holes form? Well, another question we have to ask before we get to that is, what are stars? Well, stars are huge amounts of hydrogen atoms, mostly hydrogen atoms, that collapse from gas clouds under their own gravity. They get smushed together by gravity and then they create a big ball of gas and hydrogen and other elements. Inside a star, nuclear fusion crushes hydrogen atoms into helium atoms, which creates a lot of energy inside of the star. That energy fuels the star. That energy also keeps the star alive. But why does it keep it alive? Well, that energy maintains the balance between fusion and gravity. Since gravity is pushing the star in on itself, there needs to be a force outwards. And that is the energy that comes from the fusion. Now, everything is well and good until the fusion reaches a point where it starts creating iron. Iron doesn't give off energy, and the delicate balance between the gravity and the radiation is disrupted. When that happens, the star collapses in on itself due to high gravity and no force pushing against it. And it either becomes a neutron star, or if the star is big enough, a black hole. So how do black holes die or evaporate? Well, they go through a process called Hawking radiation. First, we need to know about empty space before we go on to Hawking radiation. Empty space is when virtual particles come in existence and destroy one another. It's always happening everywhere in space. There are virtual particles that just pop into existence, are attracted to each other, and then they destroy themselves. But when this happens on the event horizon's edge, one of the particles gets sucked into the black hole and the other one goes off into space and becomes a real particle. That is how a black hole loses energy. 
the process is very, 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 very slow. It will take about one Google years for a black hole, a supermassive one, to evaporate. When a black hole does evaporate, the black hole radiates with a enormous explosion equal to a few billion nuclear bombs. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.